Mm. You caught me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. The boozy was boozing. So I'm going to put the booze down now. I've heard that many people miss the boozy. So the boozy has come back for a quickie. So here's how you start the quickie. You want to do things, you have to have a sip. Some people call it a slurp. All right, you put it down. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make scallops. Now, I got these because I'm sick of not having anything I like, and I was gonna splurge. So Trader Joe's is very, very good because their fish that's fresh is actually fresh, and it's cheaper than other places. So you can get this beautiful spread of scallops for about 13 bucks, which is not bad as scallops go because they're very expensive. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to make them two ways. I'm going to make them a Japanese style with nori, or which is seaweed, and I'm going to make them with panko, which is crumbly breadcrumbs, also Japanese, but a different flavor. Okay, I'm throwing this out now because it smells like fish. Whoop, it's in there. Okay, so you have to dry the scallops because if you let them put them wet, they'll kind of steam and you don't want that. So now what I'm gonna do is cut and I'm gonna come back when I've prepared the next phase of this boozyism. I was talking to Jesus and he told me, you need to drink more because everything stinks. I won't tell you why because you won't believe me. So anyway, drink more. Test your liver. If it's not running away, everything's okay. True. Okay. Special treat, because I love oysters, but they're very expensive, hard to find, you know, unless you go to an expensive place. The place we used to go to, Ichi Ume, used to have all you could eat, clams, oysters. Dinner was about 31 bucks, but it was a city block of sushi, cooked food, shellfish, all kinds, wonderful. Gone forever, thank you. I won't tell you who. Okay, so I bought these today as a treat because we never get any treats. And they're fresh oysters, very good. And I learned this from my friend Jill and Patty in South Carolina who served them up for Thanksgiving when we were there one year, and I was like, oh my God, I didn't think you could take those out of the little container and make them into, you know, fresh oysters to eat. But you can, because gotta be careful. So they're beautiful. And I have some lemon here in my squeezer, which I'm going to squeeze on each little fancy glass, and the rest into this lovely sauce. And I'll tell you where those glasses came from. I've been to Finland many times. I taught there ballet, but mostly jazz and theater. And uh, Lisa Noyonin, who brought me when I was in Russia, and I met her there, and I had no idea what she was saying because she had such a heavy accent we were in the theater, and made me laugh later on. She says, you're gonna bring me to Finland. But lo and behold, she did. And I went there many times, and we've been friends for many years, and had wonderful food and everything together. Anyway, these glasses are Itala, and I bought them in Finland, and they're lovely. And I hope I don't break them because I can't get them anymore. This is a sauce, which is a typical sauce you use on oysters or clams, which are also delicious. And when I serve it up, you can put a little bit on top depending on the person. I mean, I like them with mignon mignonette sauce. It's really good. I don't really like this heavy sauce, but you know, it's what we got. And then you take this little fork that I didn't polish, it's actually silver, and you eat it. So this is the appetizer. Later will come the finished product of the scallops. Now you're looking at some of the ingredients I'm going to use in the Japanese version of the scallops.
which I can't remember how to say in Japanese, but I used to know it. What the hell do you say? What is scallops? I forgot. Anyway, time for a sip. Ah, nectar of the gods. Now, what I'm doing is I want to split these. So some will be one way and with the panko, and these other ones will be with the nori. So I'm, I put them on a tray what I sprayed with a little olive oil and I top them with a little more olive oil because I have a spray which is good. Now here's what you do with the nori. You have to toast it and since I don't have a nice Japanese toaster I have to do it this way. You take it, you turn the fire on and you just brush it lightly over and it will change color a little bit and that toasts it which gives it a nice flavor in the end say a good ouch and I burnt finger okay then you put it over there that's the end of that I did cut some shiitake mushrooms I'm gonna cut them in pieces these are a little extra Mm, that's good and this is sesame oil which I will use on part of them okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the shiitakes on top of some of these scallops just because I like mushrooms but you don't have to do it this way actually the best thing would be to actually cook them before but I don't have time for all that because I've been going crazy. So they're kind of spongy. To tell you the truth, shiitakes are better dried because then they have more flavor and you reconstitute them just like delicious Italian porcinis, which are so expensive that you know you can't get unless you got the big bucks. So you do this and these are not that expensive because I go to the cheap place and they're like $5.99 a pound, which sounds like a lot, but it's not because downstairs at the Food Emporium, they're $10.99. And I went into Trader Blows today, not Trader Joe's, uh, that's a good place. I went to Whole Foods. These were like $11 a pound. That place is so overpriced, you better get a gold card if you want to go in there. Gold, make it diamond. All right, now, this is a mixture of panko a little pepper and a little olive oil. Panko is very crunchy and it's good for topping things like this. So I'm going to take a little spoon and I'm going to put it on top of these scallops. Now this is more kind of European I suppose but I do like the crunch because the scallops are soft. We're going to broil them okay now I have more shiitake ones but you know what what the hell throw it all over everything it doesn't matter it's going to be delicious anyway now what I'm going to do is I'm going to not use the nori now that will come after these are cooked then I'm going to wrap them in it but I did forget something. I didn't take it out and I should have. It's miso. Miso is the most wonderful and healthy thing from Japan. It's a little salty, but you can use it, well, it's usually used for soup, but you can use it for anything. You put it on fish, you broil it, you grill it, you bake it, it's fabulous. So what I was going to do was put it on top of the scallops, which I forgot, but there's a way to get around that. So what I'm going to do is take some of it, if I can find a, here's a spoon, and I'm going to take a little bowl, if I could find a little bowl in this mess, well here's one, and surprise, surprise, it's a Japanese bowl, which I got in Japan. So I take a little bit, put it in the bowl. Now this is kind of salty, so you have to decide how much you want, I think I need a little bit more. Okay, put it in there. Now, 
I'm going to put some really delicious sesame oil, which I love. I get it at Trader Joe's because it's a little cheaper and it's really quite good quality. And you mash it up together like this. And you keep doing this until it kind of like turns into a paste, but it's a little pasty. Now what I would normally do if I had any would be to put some sake in here, but I don't have any. Oh well. Now there's really not a substitute for sake, but what I could do is use a tiny bit of vermouth. I had to think about it. Okay, I have a little vermouth in the drinky cabinet, only to make it a little more uh, loose. It's too tight. Okay, so you do this. And on top of that, I'm going to mix in a few of these delicious bonito flakes. Bonito flakes are used to make dashi, which is the basis of all Japanese soups and everything else. It's wonderful. But you can use it for other things. So I mix it in here into this paste. Now don't salt these things because this is salty. Otherwise you're going to be eating salt. But this is good because it will bake down very well. Mushrooms tend to absorb a lot of liquid or oil. They really like sponges, so you have to be careful. Okay, yeah, I, I know I'm making it, I'm not being like a Julia Child, but as my friend from Brazil used to call her, the choked one. Oh dear, I've cut my finger! Quite amusing, but I love Julia because I watch her all the time. But making the stuff she makes, you need the big bucks, baby. Doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so I'm going to continue this and then I will be back and show you what to do next. Ugh, poison. Okay, so what I've done here is I finished everything up. I put some um, fava beans, which I found the other day in a store, frozen, which is not great, but they're out of season. And they're not as good as I would like because they had some freezer burn, but they'd be delicious with this. So I, I quickly peel them after I give them a quick boil. And now everything's ready to go into the oven. So we're gonna put this at about 350 for 20 minutes or so and we're going to check it. And then after that, we're going to probably put it on broil. You broil it until everything's browned at the top and make sure it's all cooked. After that, I will take the shiitake ones and wrap them in little pieces of nori. It'll be very delicious, very Japanese. And I also use some Japanese peppers which gives it a little spice if you like spicy. Okay, so that's that. Now I have another treat which I'm about to get ready for you to give you as an appetizer. So, see you in a moment. Okay, this is what happens when you have too much boozy. So, what I wanted to do was wrap these lovely scallops in nori, but you know, I had a little boozy and I didn't, I was rushing and I didn't do it good. But anyway, it still tastes good. So you do little packets and you take it out and you eat it. Now these ones, because they have the crunch on them, you don't need to do that. These lovely fava beans, they're just delicious on the side. So you just eat it all. It's delicious. You could have it over rice. In fact, you should have it over rice because that's the best way to do it. So you have this. It's not too expensive. It takes a little bit of work, and you still have a delicious dinner. And I put a little vegetable around it. Now, one thing I want to tell you is the liquor that comes from these jars of oysters. Do not throw it out. You can mix it in miso soup or any kind of fish stock. It's delicious. Don't waste it. Okay. Now, I don't know what this company is, but it's really good. Goodbye, good luck, Merry Christmas, and I'm banned, but when I'm back, you'll see this. 
Hallelujah, the newborn king.